In this second video of Longtail Pro, I wanted to show the Competitor Analysis tab and the Rank Checker tab. Now that we've generated uh, 122 keywords from our previous video, uh, we need to determine which of these keywords really do have low competition in Google that we can easily rank for. And the best way to do that is to look at the top 10 results within Google. Now, I do make a full-time living making niche websites and ranking uh, low competition keywords in Google. And I can tell you that looking at the top 10 results in Google is much more important than a lot of the other information that's out there that people talk about. Uh, people talk about the number of competitors in Google or the amount of title competition. All of these things are really not critical uh, to determine if you can rank in Google. So these are the factors that you want to look at uh, that are here. And um, you know things such as the page rank, the site age, the number of links to the domain, the number of page links to the resulting page, and these others that you can see. So I'm going to do a couple of examples. Um, let's take one of these keywords. You know, let's say uh, if we want to filter by um, CPC, you know, those that, that pay the most, let's say, um, let's punch in this one, uh, water heater problems. Um, we can see that it pays well and it gets a lot of searches, but is it easy to rank in Google? So that's how we can find that out. So again, uh, water heater problems. And you'll see it quickly pulled the top 10 results in Google. And now it's going out and within just a matter of seconds, it's going to pull hundreds of pieces of data. Um, it's pulling the page rank for each of these, the site age. And you can see it's done now already within just a few seconds. Uh, and so I'm going to just tell you briefly the most important things to look at. Uh, one factor to look at is whether or not the resulting page is a root domain, such as it is here. So you've got a couple of root domains. Or is it a subdomain? Is it you know something that has uh, it's in a subfolder. Another thing you want to look at is the keyword within the title. You can see the number one result, hot water heater problems. It's definitely in the title and as you come through here, you know, hot water heaters, problems. It, it is um, throughout your water heater problems, water heater problem. You know, the title, they're using it within the title, so they're definitely targeting this keyword. The description and made, uh, description and keyword meta information. This is uh, whether it's within the meta description or meta keywords, um, this exact keyword. Um, the red is no, green is yes. So you can see that a lot of them do use it. Um, now the page rank. This is, um, and I won't go into great detail about what each of these are, but this is a general um, uh, statistic that Google uses to show the authority of a page the site age. The older a site is, the more authoritative it is. So you can see we've got quite a few old sites. We do have one from 2010, a little bit newer. The number of backlinks to the uh, site itself. So this is just not the resulting page, but all of the site. But the more important factor is the number of links to the page. You can see here that um, all of them do have you know, 100, 1200, 200, there are a few in here that have a few less, so some potential weakness there. Uh, and then the other uh, few pieces here are there links going, coming from .edu pages, .gov pages, the Yahoo directory is the is the site list in the Yahoo directory and the DMOS directory. So in this example, you know, I personally like to find uh, low competition keywords. They have a page rank of zero or no page rank, or have backlinks to the page of, of less than 10. Um, so there are a couple of results here, and that aren't using the keyword very well in the title. So um, this one uh, is, is probably a little bit too uh, difficult for me just because of those things I mentioned. Um, but if we come back over here, maybe let's try and find a keyword that has the exact match domain available. 
Um, you know, here's Kindle EPUB, and I don't know really a lot about um, the Kindle or what EPUB is, but apparently lots of people are searching for that, and the .org is available, and it pays uh, fairly well. So if we come over to the competitor analysis and type that in, again, you know, I'm pulling hundreds of pieces of data that would take you hours if you were to do all of this by hand. Um, but with Longtail Pro, you're able to pull all of this data in within just a matter of a few seconds. And so you're quickly able to analyze the top 10 competition. And you can see here, you know, a lot of these no page rank, zero, zero page rank. Um, you know, the number of backlinks to the page are much fewer, you know, only seven, one, and four. Um, so Kindle EPUB is going to be a much better keyword to go after than water heater problems. Um, you know, and of course, I'm going to look at the title as well just to confirm, you know, are they using both Kindle and EPUB in there very well? Um, they're kind of using it, but not uh, really well. Um, anyways, you can very quickly pull in all of that data that um, you need to analyze the top 10 results in Google, and you can make a judgment call on these keywords that you've quickly generated. So Longtail Pro not only generates those keywords and filters them very quickly and easily for you, it also uh, shows you the top 10 competition uh, within Google and gets you that data that you need to make a good decision. Okay, and now the final function of Longtail Pro is the rank checker. This is where you can look at your existing websites and see where they rank in Google, Yahoo, and Bing for your chosen keywords. So all you do is simply enter in your domain here. So I'm going to enter in my personal blog here, Niche Pursuits, and uh, enter in a couple of keywords. Obviously, I'm going to rank well for Niche Pursuits. But let's put uh, niche business ideas. Just put a couple of keywords. And you notice all I did is hit enter, and it saved the domain. If I wanted to enter in a different domain, I would type it in here. So we'll do longtailpro.com. And there you go. And then you hit check rank, and it'll quickly go out and see where you rank in Google, Yahoo, and Bing for those keywords. So, of course, I rank number one. Um, in Google for that um, and uh, you can see that there it is after just a few seconds it, it, it's done. So you can enter in and save um, a list of your niche websites every time you open Longtail Pro these will be saved here or you can quickly delete them or you can export the results uh, into Excel if you'd like to do that um, as well you can export your results for any of the other tabs uh, as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the demonstration uh, of Longtail Pro to help you quickly and easily find keywords, exact match domains, check that competition within Google, and finally to see where you rank within the search engines for your chosen keywords. Thank you very much.